What's going on everybody? Mitch here and I'm back with another video and I'm back playing the World War II MMO first person shooter, flyer, sailor, whatever you want to do basically. Game World War II Online Battleground Europe. Game that I've been playing since 2004. Game still looks a little bit like 2004 but they're getting a little bit better. Uh, but today I'm going to be doing some level bombing with the HE-111, one of my favorite World War II aircraft. And I figured I'd show you guys what I do to do that. Maybe I'll learn something. Maybe you guys want to try out this game yourself. Have a little fun. It does have a pay per month or subscription based model, like uh, many classic MMOs. But there is a free version as well. So if you get interested in it, definitely check it out, especially the free version. See if you like it. But what I'm going to first do here is I picked a target. We're going to go for Cochrane. It is a town that is under attack. We have the south side of the town, it looks like, but the north is still well held by the French. But I'm going to try to level bomb this army base here. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at these coordinates over here, which are disappeared because I'm not on the map anymore, but now they return. I'm seeing that I need to stay in between 7.1136 and 7.1143 to be able to hit this target. Now the way I'm going to know if I'm lined up is because my coordinates are down here on the bottom left. Right now I am at 50.22.4 north and 7.17.5 east. So I'm wanting my east coordinates to be lined up with those coordinates I mentioned before, which once again is 711.35 and 4344-ish. Uh, I'll probably have to look at it a couple times because I won't remember it, I guarantee it. I'm going to try to get to about 2000, uh, 2k. and try to level out and I'll explain a little bit more once we get up to a decent uh, altitude and we'll go from there so I'm not gonna fly straight to the target I want to get elevation first uh, I kinda learned how to do this over time like I said I've been playing World War II Online since 2004 uh, and at one point I was in the in-game high command on the German side, even though I was at some point on the Allied side high command as well. Uh, but I was in charge of one of the bomber groups and we did factory bombing to slow down the Allied side's uh, production. Very long, very slow missions, large groups of planes, uh, but very rewarding. A lot of fun and very stressful whenever uh, you happen to meet enemy fighters up at altitude. Now I'm not expecting too much stress this go around. I think I should be relatively clear. We have a friendly air base nearby, although they have one as well. Uh, but at the height I'm going to be, I'm gonna definitely get my bombs off before they, they catch me unless someone gets extremely lucky and finds me very early before I'm even near town. But like I said, I'm trying to get to 2K altitude. What gauge you want to be looking at here, and I'm going to let the nose dip a little bit so I can get the mouse cursor. I can always recover it. This gauge right here is the one you were looking at. I'll let the nose dip a lot there. Try to keep a uh, angle of attack of about 5 here. Climb about 5 meters per second. And I want that little sight glass there to be reading at least 2. More would be great but two makes me feel slightly safe. The higher you are, the less likely you're going to run into fighters. You know, I can bomb from anywhere and be happy. Now, if I had any friends online, I could either be flying the plane or I could be uh, crewing one of the positions here. You know, either the, the bomber's position, uh, you know, or one of the, the multiple gunner positions on this aircraft as well. But since you know I have no friends, I will go ahead and do everything myself. That's not true. I have many friends who play this game. So let's say we've already broken over 1K. We're climbing. 
And we're at about 1.1 right now. And I'm going ahead and turning to the left to start intercepting that coordinate I told you, which I believe was 7... Is it 7.35? Or 7.11.35? Let's double check ourselves here. Like I said, in the beginning, I'm going to check this a lot. 7.11.35.44. 0 0.44 will be a little bit out, so we're trying to stay closer to the middle of that range. Checking your map is uh, pretty crucial to make sure you're on target. Watching your coordinates, very crucial that you stay on target. When you're bombing something this close, like this city is not far away at all. It's a city over, basically. Or two cities over. Uh, you gotta plan out a little bit further prior to making your run. If it's if I were bombing one of these factories that are, you know, way over here, I would have a long time to get to altitude and then to worry about uh, getting to the right coordinate. But, you know. We're not going for one of those long ones because I don't have enough time today to be doing such silly stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start trimming out the aircraft. Trimming it basically means setting little tiny, you know, how to explain it, little tiny uh, ailerons or wings at an angle that'll help hold the plane at a certain, you know, pitch or yaw or however you set it up. Right now, I'm adjusting elevation, so that'll adjust my pitch. I'm trying to adjust my pitch to where I'm nosed up a little bit more. Because this plane has a tendency to want to nosedive until it gets a little bit faster. Because it's, you know, it's a big girl. So we're approaching our desired altitude of 2K here. You can see that little sight window. Once it reaches dead center down there, or 6 o'clock position, it means we just hit the 2K, so we can stop climbing. We make sure we adjust our trim a little bit so hopefully we don't lose that altitude. And we'll go ahead and make sure our gauge is set over here. Now we're looking at the top left corner and we're looking at these gauges right here. You got the same altitude gauge, which shows we're at 2K basically. There we go, we fix it. And then we're looking at this uh, airspeed indicator. Now this is the indicated airspeed, R-I-A-S, the indicated airspeed gauge. It's probably going to be somewhere around 300 by the time we get to target. So we're going to go ahead and set it there. And now we're watching the bottom left corner down here. Remember, we need to be at 7.11.35 or 0.4344-ish. So we're going to go ahead and want to start heading south so we don't miss that mark, which we've already flown past. That's how fast it happens. So we're going to have to readjust. We're going to have to fly a little bit to the, what's that, east to get back on target here. We'd probably still hit something over here, but it's not the army base, which what we're aiming for. So we're going to fly a little bit to the east. We're going to adjust our trim. There's a lot going on right now. So you got to be on your toes. And we're just going to make some small corrections, get back corrected. Get back corrected. See, we're already back in target. We're at 38 now. We need to be heading dead south, though. So we're at 41. That'll put us on target. We're a little bit below what we want as far as altitude, but that's okay because we can adjust. The altitude, like I said, is mostly for us to feel safe in the air. Uh, let's make sure that our gauge is lined up, or our bomb sight's lined up. It was completely off. So if we were looking through the gauge and trying to aim at our target, we would have hit nothing. So we don't want to do that. We're going to turn a little bit back this way. And we got a Spitfire ahead of us. He's going to engage us for sure. Yep, there he goes. But that is okay because we should be able to get our bombs off on target. Let's double check our speed before we get going here. We're a little bit faster than what we thought. So we'll set that a little bit higher. And we're a little bit off target. We'll make a quick correction here and we'll just go ahead and drop our bombs. 
Now, we should have a Spitfire on our booty. We sure do. We'll fire into him. We'll fire into him, and let's see where our bombs land here. Not too concerned about the Spitfire. I'm watching for bombs. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Bombs were a little bit off. We hit the crap of the bridge. So that probably means we got the... Uh, we got a couple guys, most likely. We did get shot down by the Spitfire. We can bail out here, which we will. So there we go. There goes our guys bailing out. Except for crew member number four, unfortunately. He did not make it. He, uh, he passed away. Let's see if we can't do a little bit better this next run here. Now, as you saw last time, we were a little bit off on our hit. Uh, if you want to be a little bit more accurate, you can play with your altitude, get a little bit closer to your actual altitude, and then you can go to a site like this that I'm linking here and showing an example of on screen uh, to get the actual altitude of the city and subtract that from your current altitude in the aircraft. And with a city like Kakum, where the altitude is 100 meters almost, it can make a pretty decent difference on where the bombs land. So we're going to go ahead and adjust that now. We're going to set our altitude to 1900. And maybe that'll get us a little bit closer. We'll set our indicated airspeed up to... 330-ish. Right about the closer you can get to accurate the better and I always suggest you set it to what you think you're gonna be at when you arrive on target uh, beforehand that way you have less time to spend on moving your bomb site around let's give this another go okay so we're doing the same thing we did last time I went ahead and knocked down my elevation by about 500 meters uh, if they're if they're up in the air right now 500 meters is not gonna make a big difference it's going to protect me from the ground still. There's not much that's going to hit me accurately when I'm at 1,500 meters. Uh, but if there's still Spitfires up there, 1,500 meters is not going to make a big difference from 2,000. So we should be okay. We're turning left and trying to get close to being on target. We're adjusting our trim as we go along. Remember, we are trying to be at 7.11.0. 0.35 or 0.44 area currently. Uh, we have our altitude set accordingly to us being around 1500. We've knocked off the almost 100 meters that we got from Kakum's altitude, uh, altitude above sea level, of course. We are currently at above 300 IAS. Let me make sure I get everything adjusted here correctly. 300 and some change, so that's good. We need to adjust a little bit more. Make sure we get everything on target here. We want to be as close to on target as possible. Feeling pretty decent about that. We're going to go ahead and make sure we correct our speed. We're up to 330-ish. Our altitude is a little bit high for what we'd like. We're at in between four and five, so we should be at like three, that range. And we are close to being on target, but we need to adjust a little bit. Now, look at that. That's the sight picture we want to see. That's perfect. We're going to release early. Try to get at these bombs. We uh, lost our autopilot because our you know, center of gravity on our plane changed. The plane got a lot lighter. And we're going to go watch these bombs hopefully splash somewhere near target. There they go, right on target. That was a good hit. See, making that little difference of 100 meters and making sure everything was on point 
makes a very big difference on where your bombs land. So let's go. Uh, let's return home and see what uh, see what happens. See if we can get closer to being on the actual dirt path here. We can probably crab walk it on. Flaps all the way down. Crab walking a little bit here, getting on. There we go. Smooth as butter. <laughs> Keep from spinning out here. Okay, so let's go for a little bit sexier of a target and a little bit more dangerous of a target. Let's try to bomb this French airfield over here. Or is it a British airfield? Okay, so technically it's a British airfield. It's spawning British aircraft if it's spawning anything. No guarantees there's going to be anything on the ground when we get there. But hey, it's a uh, unique challenge. We're going to have to go a little bit higher up now because the anti-air artillery at this airfield will be devastating. And the higher up we are, it's going to be harder to hit. Plus... We'll see the target sooner in our bomb site. We can release and then peel out and head home. That's what we're going to do. We're trying to go about 3K. That's even a little cutting it. It's a little risky. We may get torn up pretty good. Uh, but if we can get bombs away, hopefully we can get bombs across these hangars here. So we're going to be looking at, let's get our information up here. We'll click the I for information if you're following along still. And we want to be, we'll say, we'll say 5 56 555 is probably as far south as we want to go and 50.34.5 north is as far north as we want to go if we're that far north we're going to completely miss this airfield uh, i would prefer to stay closer to the 5755 area that way we can hit this airfield or this hangar these hangers and a little bit of the army base. If we can get a little bit of everything, that would be awesome. So let's see what we can do here. We're making our slow turn to get to uh, the west here. We gotta stay a little bit to the south still because we want to get to. 50.33.5556 range. Uh, we're looking at the bottom right still, seeing what we're looking at. Right now we're currently at 50.3421. Actually, anyway, we'll probably go a little bit more southish so that number goes down a little bit faster. We're almost to our cruising altitude of 3,000 meters. Uh, and then we can start setting everything up and make sure we're lined up to hit our target. So we're quickly coming up on 3-3. Three, three. Not quite there yet. And we're quickly coming up on 3,000. Now while we'll level off here. Let the aircraft gain some speed. We'll actually cut the aircraft to the west really fast. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be that erratic with it. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Actually, it went a little too far west. So we'll overcorrect it and go a little under west. We're a little above 3,000. We'll double check our site here, see where we're at. So not even quite, that's what, 330-ish. We'll go right there, and while we're headed towards our target, which we're a lot closer to being lined up with, and we'll trim out a little bit, we'll get a little bit closer to neutral. We'll probably stop at about 48, at 46 that'll work. correct my uh, bearings here we're gonna go ahead and look up and see what the airfield altitude of Verveers is so Verveers altitude from my data says it's 335 meters so we'll subtract that 
from what we're aiming at. Let's go ahead and correct our course a little bit and trim out. We went a little bit past what we wanted. It's okay though. Just a series of corrections. When you're this far out from the target, it doesn't really matter. It's okay. So we want to be about 3,000 altitude. We're a little bit at 35, 350 right now. But we want to subtract 330 from uh, our current altitude. So let's go ahead and do that. That's 100, 200, 300, and some change there. So that's closer to where we're at. Our indicated airspeed right now, we're at 310. So we'll set that in accordance. We're a little bit off target again. So we'll go ahead and correct that. We still got a little ways before target, so no big panic. Just making little detail, minor changes here and there. Making sure we get everything on target, making sure our, our bomb site is lined up, centered. Go ahead and correct this a little bit more. Everything's starting to come into picture a little bit better here. We're at 49. see what we can see on the ground we can't see the woods yet that's a good sign we just passed that road in our bomb site that's good news make sure our altitude is all set still probably lower this a little bit closer to 60 that's about right Now we can correct a little bit back to the left here. There's the woods. Okay, perfect. Correct a little bit to the left again. Just making sure everything's lined up the way we want it to when we get to target. As you can see, we're on a pretty good course right now to hit what we want to hit. I would be a little bit happier for a little bit more to the left though. Make sure everything's lined up still. Still going 310, still about 350. Let's go ahead and go a little bit left some more. Just trying to walk the airplane over a little bit. Okay, so here's the second set of woods that we're seeing in our bomb site now. The next thing we should see is airfield. Our next major thing we should see is airfield. We do get a little bit of cloud cover, and we do see an enemy plane below us. I don't know if he sees me. Don't really care. Making some more minor adjustments. And I'm hitting A, which is autopilot, just to snap the plane right back in. It's a little gimmicky thing you can do to get the airplane to do what you want, just to make these little changes. So we're seeing some flak now, which means we are well within where we need to be. And there's the airfield. We are lined up pretty perfect for what we want. Yeah, pretty perfect. Hopefully we don't take too many shots here. We are hearing a couple of plinks, but nothing to be concerned with. Let's go ahead and start releasing some bombs. There we go. That's something to be concerned with. That was a good hit, Austin. Let's get the hell out of here now. Most of our crew member has been hit. Let's see if we can't get out of here and spot our bombs at the same time. Looking for bomb hits. Any hits would be great. There they go. All the way across the airfield. 
both hangars got it. We didn't get any of the army base. I panicked a little bit. Was getting torn up pretty good by the AAA. But uh, we're safe now. We, we make it out. We're going to make it out. Our crew member number five looks like he got hit. It says his head, but it must have been just some shrapnel. Because he is not dead, obviously. Uh, but now we're going to return home, hopefully. Hopefully none of those aircraft find me. It's very possible they will. They were very low. Gonna get in our gunner spot. We do see some flak. But no enemy aircraft, so we may be able to run out of here. Uh, just fine. Looking uh, at the belly gunner, the guy who took the brunt of all that beating. Nope, nothing there. So yeah, let's uh, let's return home and hopefully uh, we'll be able to land. Let me uh, turn down my engine speed a little bit. The engines, look here in the bottom right corner, the two gauges with the Celsius on it. That is how hot my engines are running. Over 120 Celsius, which is not good. Eventually they will cook and burn up and stop working for me, which none of that is good. So we're going to cool it down on our return home. Made it home safe and sound once again. A little shut up, but safe and sound for sure. Now let's just land this little baby. Little wobble at the end there, a little bounce. But she's home in one piece. That's what counts. Well, looking at the AAR here, it looks like we didn't catch anybody on the ground sleeping, but that happens sometimes, especially with those kind of missions where you're just kind of taking a shot in the dark and see if you can't catch someone on the ground. We obviously saw some aircraft around, so we probably just missed some uh, targets of opportunity there. Uh, but... Yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. Hopefully uh, you can at least use the AT-111 in a level bomb scenario in the future and be able to accurately hit your targets. If you like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe to my video. Share it. Let other people know, please. I like spreading the word about this channel. Of course I do. It's my channel. Uh, but until next time, have a great one. Later, everybody.